since we're talking so much about demand, uh, let's next see what happens when there is an increase in demand. I mean, of course, you guys can do the, the opposite analysis as well of what happens when demand decreases, but I'm just going to focus on increase. And we're going to look at two cases. When there is increase in domestic demand, and when there is increase in foreign demand. Okay, let's start with the domestic case, which is, I think, somewhat simpler to understand uh, than the other one. So we have Y here, Z here. So here's the 45, oh, sorry about that. So here's the 45 degree angle. And uh, suppose we have this, which is ZZ. Okay, so this is, of course, our equilibrium point. Down here, we have NX. Uh, and let's suppose, it doesn't have to be the case, but let's suppose that at the equilibrium point, nx is balanced, it's equal to zero. It doesn't have to be, as I said, but it's just easier to analyze when we make this simple assumption. Okay, so now we're looking at the domestic case, right? Uh, let me write down the equation. Uh, so what we have is z equals to c plus i plus g minus n plus it's I've, I've simplified things a lot so how might demand increase let's suppose that g increases okay so suppose there is an expansionary fiscal policy which has led to g going up as a result z will also go up so what effectively happens is that z will go up so suppose this is z this has gone up and what we see is that our new equilibrium is at this point so let me give the name so this was suppose y naught and so this will be y1 and over here this much this length is a trade deficit. So what we can say, uh, okay, first of all, let's talk about why will there be a trade deficit? So what we have seen is that there has been a rise in domestic demand because there has been a rise. Uh, of course, we know that to maintain uh, equilibrium if z goes up y will also go up so there has been a rise in domestic output this much we understand from what we've learned in chapter three uh, what we may not be sure about right now is why should this lead to uh, trade deficit I mean, we assume that we were starting off at this point. Uh, if not, I mean, other things that might happen is that we may have straight surplus, but trade surplus may go down. Or if we started from a position of trade deficit, trade deficit would increase. Effectively, what's happening is that when we take X minus M, this amount is going down. Why might that happen? Well, that might happen because if you remember, import depends on y and real exchange rate and this is a positive relationship so when y is going up uh, I keep doing this okay. so when y is going up from y naught to y1 this is an increase so what we have here is that y is going up and if y is going up m will go up right we're importing more Nothing is happening to export, that remains constant. So X is fixed, but M is going up. And that is why uh, we have a case 
of uh, trade deficit getting bigger. Okay, so we can derive two uh, relationship from here is that when there is a rise in domestic demand, two things will happen. One is a good thing, which is that domestic output will go up. This is a good thing. But another thing that will happen is that NX, net export will go down. Okay, so this is not necessarily a good thing. Okay, so that's the first relationship, uh, which was the domestic one done. Now let's take a look at the foreign case, which is slightly more trickier to understand. So we start from the same place. We have uh, Y here, we have Z here. We have, uh, 45 degree line and we have, let me redraw this. So we have demand here. So of course, this is our equilibrium. Let's call this Y naught. And if we come down here, to take a look at the net export. Once again, let's make, us, let's make the assumption that at the equilibrium, we also have a net export balance. Don't need to make this assumption, but it simplifies our analysis. Okay, so now what we are assuming is that foreign income is going up, right? So effectively, Y star is going up. If their income go up, what will they do? they will start to buy more and they will buy some domestic goods, their domestic, uh, but also some foreign goods. Their foreign goods is our domestic goods. So demand for domestic goods is going up. So what we will be doing is we will be exporting more, okay? And if you take a look at this equation, once again, when X go up, Z will go up, right? So, since export is going up, Z will go up. So let's draw that. Suppose this is it. So we have a new ZZ. We have a new equilibrium. So we have Y naught. Seems like the same outcome, but it's not true. Really. So let's analyze what we have found. When Y star went up, we started to export more, right? Because foreigners had more money, they wanted to spend it. Some of that money was spent buying goods produced in our country. As a result, export went up. Because export went up, of course, that means that demand for domestic goods had already also gone up. As a result, what we saw is that due to a rise in foreign income, local income went up as well, okay? Now, of course, this in itself is a very important relationship. It shows that growth in an open, open economy, which is what we have now, uh, growth in an open economy comes together. One country cannot, will probably not grow if the countries around it are not growing. You need, cooperation between economies so that they can both grow. Okay, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. So the relationship we have found now is that because foreign income went up, local income went up, okay? Uh, as a result, because our income has gone up, import will go up as well. We've already seen this relationship. So what's happening is both export is going up and import is going up, okay? Now the question is which one will go up more? We have rise in export and we have rise in import. Which one will go up? Uh, so what you see here is that this is a more direct relationship, right? Because income of foreigners have gone up, they've started to buy more goods. This, so because this has happened, this has happened. This is a pretty direct relationship. 
but the other relationship first foreigners income has gone up because of that they've bought more of our goods because of that demand has gone up because of that income has gone up and because income has gone up import has gone up this is a very indirect relationship it will happen but relationship is indirect so what we often see is that although both export and import are growing up go, growing uh, going up sorry uh, ex rise in export will be larger than rise in import okay i mean there's also a graphical way of understanding it but i'm not complicating things just understand the economic rationale behind it uh, why the rise in export will be larger than the rise in import. But what does this mean? Uh, we had in this point, Nx is equal to zero. Now we've moved from this point to this point. What our analysis is telling us is that rise in export should be larger than rise in import which means that Nx should go up, right? Nx should go up. But over here, what we're seeing is that we have negative Nx, this. What that means is that we've moved to a new Nx. What we will have is this X prime, okay? We've moved up to a new Nx. And as a result, at this point, uh, we were here, now we've moved here at this point. I'll use another ink. See this length, this length, this red length. This is our trade surplus because there has been a rise in foreign income. Both export and import has gone up. However, export has increased more than import as a result net export has gone up that is shown in this diagram right here okay so what are our takeaways from this analysis uh, just like we had oh where did i oh, so this was our analysis for rise in domestic demand what will happen if there is a rise in foreign demand. First thing that happens is, of course, our income will go up. This is a good thing. Income, or you may say our demand will go up, oh, good things. We also had that here, see, rise in income. But the second thing that will happen is that NX will go up which is also a good thing. Now, over here, we had a fall in NX. Over here, we have a rise in NX. So that's the difference between those two, okay? So once again, what I'm going to request you guys is that before you move on to the next video, just uh, go through this explanation a few times, maybe read the books, uh, read the book, uh, but make sure that you understand the dynamics that we're talking about properly before you take a look at what's coming next.